What's up everyone? This is Chris Cook. I'm going to show you today how to load and unload for 35mm film, medium format film, and also large format. For 35 we're going to use my Nikon FM. For medium format, we're going to use two cameras. We're going to use the Pentax 67 and Mamiya RZ67. And lastly, we're for large format, we're also going to use a film holder and load film into that. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to start with 35mm film. It, I like, this is usually my go-to film. It's very compact and you can use various uh, different types of cameras. So, we're going to load this up with the Nikon FM. Um, I like using the Nikon FM because it's very sturdy. It has a metal body and it could take a fall even though you shouldn't drop your camera but uh, if you do happen to drop that it won't be the end of the world just be as a dent or whatever so to load film on my Nikon FM uh, we will go on the left hand side of the camera and we will see pretty much two things which is the safety lock and the knob for it uh, to open the film back on the Nikon FM you go push down the safety lock Pull up the knob and pull it up till the door is open. Uh, when we get up to this step, I usually ha like having the camera face down so I can see exactly where I'm going. Um, to put the film in the camera, I'm going to make sure the knob, as we said before, safety locked down, knob all the way up. And we want the knob all the way up so this way we can put the film in there. Uh, with this camera in particular, when we know film, uh, we have to load film in this direction. If we try loading film on this direction, like so, it won't let us go. Uh, when we load the film in the camera, we always want to aim for the top part and then lead. The top is going to lead and the bottom is going to follow, like so. Uh, so once we have the film in the camera itself, I pull the knob down all the way just to make sure. And then we would take the leader of the film and pull it across the body to get like so. Uh, once you see that the knob is turning on the top part, that means that you load the 35 on the left hand side of the camera correctly. All right, so with the film itself, I always pull just a little bit across because we get to the right hand side of the middle of the camera. And you notice with 35, it has like holes from both sides of the film. And this is what's going to help guide the film to go from the right, I mean, from the left hand side to the right hand side of the camera. Uh, so when we look to the right hand side, we also notice that it's, we will have this type of stool, which will have like a little slot that we need to put the film in. So all what we're going to do is I usually like have the film as a curve and then lead it directly down into that slot like so. Sometimes you need to pull just a little bit across so you have just a little bit more space to work with. But once you actually get it into the slot and you can't go any further, then you could advance the film. And the advanced lever is right on the right hand side on top of the camera. Uh, and this is your shutter button as well too. And it, just additional, just so you know, this is where you select the shutter speeds as well too and change the ASA. Uh, we're not gonna go too into that, but we're gonna focus on just loading the film in the camera. So once you get up to this step, uh, we're gonna advance the film with the lever. We're gonna use, take a shot first with the shutter button and then advance. You don't have to rush through it, just take your time. And you notice just how like the film, it just go completely right where it need to be. Um, we go take another um, shot as well too, and just keep it going. Let's advance one more time, like so. So once you get up to this step, um, this is where you need to be, where the film is advancing and everything is going from the left to the right. We're going to close the film back like so. Uh, look on top of our camera now and we know that right now the camera counter is on S. We're going to keep shooting until we get to 1. And so 
now that you have load the film in the camera, you shot all your frames and now you have to unload it. Uh, with any camera, it always have a release button and that's the first thing you need to do to unload the film from the camera. Um, with the Nikon FM, the release button is on the bottom. You press this button first and then you go right back from the top of the camera. So we to go from the left hand side and you not go pull the knob all the way up. With some cameras, you have to be careful because if it doesn't have a safety lock, if you pull the knob all the way up, then the back will open. So for the FM, uh, like I said before, we're not pulling the knob up. We're going to pull the lever out. And for different cameras, you have like a arrow, which is usually on the knob. And for this one particular, it's having us go clockwise. So uh, once you're ready, you're going to just follow the arrow and you will get the tension, you will feel the tension of the film going right back in the canister. You only just keep it going till you lose the tension and then it will be safe to actually take the film out of the camera. So let's just pull the lever back down. We're gonna hold down the safety lock, pull it open. And just to take the film out, you're gonna pull the knob all the way up, safety lock again. Close the camera back up, knob, and then you're good to go. Next film we're going to work on now is 120 film. I like this film a lot because you were able to do different image formats. You could shoot in 6, 4x5, 6x6, 6x7, 6x8, and 6x9. Depend on which camera, uh, each one. Depends which 120 camera you have, of course. It depends on which format it is able to shoot as well. What we're going to start on is a Pentax 6.7, just as a name. With this particular camera, you can shoot 6x7 as well, too. Um, this is the version 2. Uh, so for me to start loading film on this camera, I'm going to look on the left-hand side, like so. And just to open the film back, you will see like an arrow right in the middle. You go pull it down, and that's what's gonna open up the film back. So just like as the last SOR we had with the Nikon film, this is very similar as you see as um, once you get inside. I usually like having it straight down so I can see what I'm doing. And with this one in particular, usually when you open up any 120 camera, you should have a spool or take spool and usually sometimes it's on the left hand side uh, and with the Pentax X7 you want to make sure the spool is always on the right hand side because if, if you notice when it comes to 35 you want everything to go to the left to the right so for this one in particular it really has the spool right on the right hand side so the only thing we have to worry about is put the film on the left hand side so let's look at the bottom uh, you have these two notches, uh, so to put any type of film in there is you have to pull it down, move to your right hand side, and then pull down. And why, so once you do that, now you should have the clearance to put the film in there as well too. Ooh, always drop my camera too. So now it's just basically we just gonna line everything up. If you notice with 120, depends on which one you have you have this little shape thing and you're basically going to line it up to how the camera is. So with this one, it's just right on the side. Cool. Once you feel like it's in, then you go at the bottom of the camera, pull it down and then lock it, which you turn your left hand side and then close it. Cool. Make sure it's, it's secure, which it is. And then same thing, you go take the paper part of the film Pull it all the way across. And like I said before, which is why I feel like a lot of people like the Pentax. It is very similar as like a regular uh, 35 SOR. Is you're gonna pull it across. You can see like a little with 120 stools, you're gonna have like a little like a little slot right here. And that's where you want to put the paper in, right in there. Cool. I usually put mine in just a little bit in just to make sure it, uh, it's good. And once you feel like you're prepared, then you go start advancing it. 
So, so same thing with the advanced lever. You're going to start advancing. Usually just make sure you just the film is taken. Cool. Perfect. One more time. Cool. And with 120 film, you always going to have a arrow across. Depends on the camera you use. It will also be an arrow there as well too. And this is where it's pretty much telling you once you get up to this part, you could close the film door uh, back up. If you don't see an arrow, uh, make sure you keep advancing till you get the arrow and you have to make sure it lines up. Sometimes it doesn't have to be perfectly in line. Like right here is okay, but you have to make sure it at least reach this section. So now once you get that, you close the film back down, close it up. Uh, with this camera, it can sense it, so you're going to just keep advancing to reach the one. And once you get to one, you're good to start shooting. So you just shot your last frame, and now you're ready to take the film out of the camera. I usually suggest just to advance just a couple extra frames, just to make sure there's no more film. Well, all the film is from the left hand side is to the right. So once you feel like you're prepared, Look on your left hand side, uh, the arrow, the arrow which is in the middle, right hand side, pull the lash down, turn to your right, pull it up. And usually a little trick is I like put my finger on the top part like so, and that's where we'll pull the film up from the bottom part all the way up. You're going to grab it out, close the back, oh, and pull the lash off of course, sometimes I forget. And then you're good to go. And usually, afterwards, uh, you get this little paper thing, which you pull across and stick. Sometimes, I know with Kodak, you have to lick it so it can stay. And once you have the paper all the way across, then your film is good to go. Okay, next up for 120, I'm going to show you how to load this into the Mamiya RZ67. Uh, this camera is quite different than the Pentax. And as you can see, also a lot more larger as well too. Uh, even though it's a lot more bigger in size, is a one of my personally favorite cameras. It's very, have a lot of abilities, is modular as well too. Uh, and modular in a way that you could, it's basically pieces you could take off. You could take the lens off, the body, the back, and you know, it's, you could switch around with different things. And it's really, I mean, even though it's big, but it's just really, uh, useful to have. So to low film on this, I usually pick the camera up. Let's go over at the bottom. Uh, I usually just take the film back off. Uh, you have a letter which is so, and you go take it to your left hand side and take the back off. So I'm put it back here, and let's move this towards the side and grab our film. All right, so we're gonna load the film into the film back. Um, this is quite a different system than what we did with the Pentax because everything is uh, in certain pieces. So to open up the film back, uh, we're going to go to our right hand side, which is so. Uh, you're going to notice there's two lashes from top to bottom. And we're going to pull each side down. Once you pull each side down, we'll be able to open it up. And once we get to that step, I usually like taking this, card, uh, this part off. Let's put this off to the side. And this way we could just work with just this. So same thing applies. We notice how the spool is on the left hand side. Uh, we go move it to our right. There's like a button which is right near the take in spool. We go hold this down and we'll be able to move this now to the right hand side. So the same thing applies. We're going to push this down on the right hand side of the, uh, the spool. And we're going to just line it up as we did before, top to bottom. Cool. Once it's lined up, you let it go. Make sure it's secure. And now we can work on the left hand side. So when we put film, 
and I'm going to be a film back. Uh, we also have to make sure that it's loading at the right way. So the way you load it is you have to make sure you see the black part of this. You can't load up this way, you have to load it up this way, and I'm about to show you why. So we're going to load it from where we see the black part. So same thing where we load up with this spool. We go press down, line it up, and wait till the lock, make sure it's secure, and we're good to go. So instead of like pulling it from left to right, we're going to actually pull it from behind and what I mean by behind is you're going to look all the way to this side and this is where we're going to be pulling it from right across here. So you're going to pull it all the way from behind of the of the back. You go flip around one more time and this bowl like so we're going to actually put the paper right through here. So now I know you what you ask is like, why are we doing from around it? So let's first put the paper through the hole, which is as so. We go look at the top part. We go see an arrow, and this is what gonna lead us to like actually pull the film across. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky, so I'll usually leave my finger here just to help guide it through. Perfect. So you're going to keep going, keep going. You will also notice at this part right here, this is the arrow which you're supposed to line everything up. So you go keep going to the arrow, boom. And once you get to this step where you see the black is already here and both is loaded right here, um, you can actually put this right back on the other part like so. So all we have to do is line everything up. Cool. And once you line everything up, we can close this back. Put it through the two holes in the middle, take the lashes, close it down. And the answer to the question before is when you uh, take a, sh a few shots, the film is going to come out this way. Your dark slide is what you're going to pull out. Ooh, can't pull it out yet. But once you, because it, and it has like a little, and it has a little thing where it won't let you pull this thing out out because they have to be connected to the camera but uh the film essentially is going to be right here so that's why we're loading it from the opposite way so the film could be shown and be taken from right here so once you have this you could grab the body once again look down i usually aim it from like face down line it up as so uh if you look at the back once again uh, you go lock it, which is to your left hand side, like so. Make sure it doesn't come off. And if we look on the left hand side of the back, uh, we also notice that it's on S. So the knob, which we was helping to load the film and advance it, we're going to keep turning. And you're going to keep on turning till you reach to one. Cool. So once you reach the run, it won't let you go anymore. And from there, when you're ready to shoot, that's when you could be able to take the dark slide out like so. And then you're ready to do a shot from there. Good. So you just shot your last frame. And same thing as applied before, we're going to take the film back off before unloading it. So let's go to the back of behind the camera, pull the lash out. Take the film back off, and then we're going to put this off the side for now. All right. So because we just took our, took our last shot, we want to just advance it just a little bit. And you just want to keep going until you have no tension left, like so. Cool. All right. So we're going to go from the right-hand side, pull the lashes down. We're going to open it. And you notice that now everything is on the right hand side, which is perfect. All right, so we're going to usually, I want to take this off first. Okay. And then we're going to pull this down. It's going to come off from the right hand side, pull it out, and you go tape it. And then your film is good to go. 
just to show you how to put everything back as well too. Line everything up, back up as before. Close it up, push through the hose. Cool. And you're good to go. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna show you how to load four x five film into film holders. Uh, four x five film is large format and it also with large format you also do by eight by ten um the camera i use is a crown graphic and it's perfect enough for me where it's pretty contact but i could shoot pretty large as well too um for the film itself uh this is how it look like uh, just to show you how to load film up it's already exposed um and we're going to load this in the film holder as so. And best way to load 4x5 in the holder is you notice that there's a little bit of this notch on top. This is what's going to guide you to put the film in the holder. Uh, you also notice there's two different colors in this film, which is pink and kind of blue. But the most important part is that your film is had to be exposed on the pink part, not the blue part. So when I'm loading film up in the holder, I usually like holding it this way. Uh, depends on when you get the film and you try to fill around uh, where size wish is the notch is always going to help you guide you to put it in the holder. So I usually have it as an upper right hand angle of uh, where I want my notch is going to be. And then I could take my film holder. So the film holder, uh, if you know, is similar to the RZ67, is you also have dark slides in both of them as so. So here's your two dark slides. With each holder, you could do two uh, film in each holder. Uh, to load the film in the holder is you're going to pull, you don't have to pull all the way out. Uh, sometimes you can pull all the way out just to help you out a little bit more. Um, when you get a little more advanced, you can just do halfway. Uh, you pull the dark slide out. You can also go to the bottom part of the film holder and push this down as well too. Uh, just be a little careful. When you, uh, depends on what type of film holder you have. If you have the wooden ones, uh, you just have to be careful. It doesn't like scratch up the film. Um, so once you pull the bottom part on the fill holder, then you can line it up uh, as so. Uh, like I said, make sure the notch is on the upper right hand corner and then you line the film up and then you feed it through. So be careful not to put too much fingerprints on the film itself. Cool. And you just line it up all the way down like so. Then you close this part up and then you can put the dark slide part right back inside uh, with my bark dark my film holders in particular it has two sides it has a silver side and let me lock, lock this in first cool so it doesn't go out and then you have the black side i usually start with silver side to just show that this film loaded is ready to go and then i also once i shot the row I mean, not the real, the actual film itself, see the film, then flip over, put it on the black side. So it could tell me that, hey, I shot something from here. Um, but once it's loaded, uh, I usually take my camera. All right, so this is a crown graphic. Uh, this is probably one of the compact four by five cameras you could get. Uh, and just to load the film back, in this camera is you, you look at your backhand side of the camera this is your spring back and you pretty much kind of like slide the film holder straight in the back so you just move it up a little bit uh, size it up and then you just slide across and just like the RC once you're ready to do the shot you pull the dark slide out and then you're good to go all right so that's how you load up 35 120 in large format if you have any questions or comments feel free to reach out to me and happy to help out from there
Peace.